Okay, so let's have this topic. The sampling distribution of sample means. So sampling distribution characterizes the distribution of elements of a sample drawn from a population. Then it is important in statistics because this provides a major simplification on the root of statistical inference. Then according to Walls, sampling distribution is a theoretical distribution of an infinite number of sample means of equal size taken from a population. So to understand more about sampling distribution of sample means, let's solve this problem. So a population consists of four numbers, 2, 5, 6, and 10. Consider all possible samples of size 2 that can be drawn with and without replacement from this population. Then what is the mean and standard deviation of the population? So to solve for the population mean, so just add all the numbers in the population. We have 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 10 divided by the population size. Since we have 4 numbers, therefore divide by 4. So the population mean now, we have 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 10. Then equals, then divide by 4. So that's 5.75. So this is the population mean. And to solve for the population uh, standard deviation, so I'm going to use a table form for us to understand the distribution. So we have x for the numbers in the population, that's 2, 5, 6, and 10. Since the formula for the standard deviation, we have this, the square root of summation of x minus the population mean squared over n. Since we have this x minus the population mean, so in the table, we need to solve first this x minus the population mean. So for this row, we have 2 minus 5.75. So this one is the population mean. That's negative 3.75. Then for this row, that's 5 minus the population mean, it's negative 0.75. Then for this row, that's 6 minus the population mean, that's 5.75, that's 0.25. Then we have 10 minus 5.75, that's 4.25. Then, since in the formula, we have this, the square, so we need to square this column. So, take note that the square of a negative numbers, so you need to put that inside the parentheses. Because if you put negative 3.75 squared, the answer is negative, and we all know that the square of a negative is always positive. So to input this one in a calculator, you need to put inside the parentheses, so negative 3.75, then squared, that's 14.06. Then we have this negative 0 0.75 squared, it's 0 0.56. Then 0.25 squared, that's 0 0.06 and this 4.25 squared is 18.06 then to solve for the summation so just add all these numbers so that's 14.06 uh, plus 0.556 plus 0 0.06 then plus 18.06 so we have now 32.74. So the summation of x minus the mean squared is 32.74. And to solve now for the standard uh, division, so we have this, the summation of x minus the mean squared. So we have this 32.74 divided by n, that's the population size, which is equal to 4. So the standard division now, we have 32.74 divided by 4, that's 
So the square root of 8.185, then take the square root. So the square root of 8.185, so this is now the population standard deviation, 2.8609. Then for this problem, so what is the mean and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means since we have a uh, with and without replacement? So let's solve first this with replacement. So first we need to list all the sample of size 2 with replacement. So from the numbers in the population since size 2, so list all two numbers combination from these numbers in the population. So let's start with two. Since with replacement, so we can have two and two, then two five, two six, and two ten. Then for five, so we have five two, five five, five six, and five ten. Then for 6, so 6, 2, 6, 5, 6, 6, and 6, 10. Then we also have 10, 2, 10, 5, 10, 6, and 10, 10. So these are the samples with replacement. Then to solve for the mean and the standard division, so in a table form, since the formula for the mean, we have this the submission of the sample mean over the sample size. So we need to solve first this sample mean. So again, in solving for the mean, so just add the numbers, then divide by the size of the number. Now since we have two numbers, so therefore divide by two. So add these two numbers, so two plus two, that's four, then divide by two. So the average now or the mean is two. This one, 2 plus 5, that's 7, then divide by 2, so the average or the mean, that's 3.5. This is 2 plus 6, that's 8, divide by 2, so the mean is 4. So this one is 12, divide by 2, that's 6. 7 divided by 2, that's 3.5. 10 divided by 2, that's 5. This one is 5.5. 15, that's 7.5. 8, this one is 4. 11, 5.5, so 12 divided by 2, that's 6, 16 divided by 2, that's 8, so this one is 6, uh, 15, that's 7.5, 6, this one is 8, 10, this one is 20. So that's how to get the sample mean, so just add the two numbers and divide by 2 because we only have two numbers. Now, since in uh, standard division, we have the sample mean minus the population mean, and we already solved the population mean, which is equals to 5.75. So to solve for this uh, sample mean minus the uh, population mean, so we have 2, then minus this 5.75, that's negative 3.75. Then this uh, 3.5 minus 5.75, so 3.5 minus 5.75. That's negative 2.25. Then 4 minus this 5.75. So 4 minus 5.75. That's negative 1.75. Then 6 minus 5.75. So 6 minus 5.75. It's 0.25. So again, just subtract this sample mean and the population mean for this column. So we have this uh, negative 2.25, negative 0.75, negative 0.25. So these are the values on this column. Then since in the formula, we have this the squared, so just take the square of this column. So if negative, so put inside the parentheses. So we have uh, negative 3.75, then squared. It's 14.06. Then this negative 2.25. So negative 2.25. Then squared. That's 5.06. Then negative 1.75. Then squared. is 3.06. 
then 0.25 squared, that's 0 0.06. So the values for this column is just the square of this column. So these are now the remaining values. Then to solve now for the mean of the sampling distribution, so we have this the summation of uh, the sample mean. So we need to add all these numbers for the summation of this sample mean. So, uh, so 2 plus 3.5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3.5 plus 5 plus 5.5 plus uh, 7.5 plus 4 plus 5.5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7.5 plus 8 plus 10. So this is now the submission of the sample mean that's 92. So we can solve now this mean of sampling distribution. So we have 92 divided by the sample size since we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 samples. So therefore divide by 16. So the mean of sampling distribution, that's 92 divided by 16, that's 5.75. Then for the standard division of this sampling distribution, so we have this the summation of sample mean minus the population mean squared. So therefore, we also need to add all these numbers. So we have 14.06 plus uh, 5.06 plus 3.06 plus 0.06 plus 5.06 plus 0.56 plus 0.57 plus 0.06 then plus 3.06 plus 3.06 plus 0.06 plus 0.06 then plus 0.06 then plus 5.06 plus 5.06 plus 0.06 then plus 0.06 plus 0.06 plus 0.06 plus 0.06 plus 0.06 plus 0.06 then plus 0.06 so we have now 65.46. So this is the summation of the sample mean minus the population mean squared. So the solve now for the standard division of the sampling distribution. So this one is uh, 65.46 divided by n. n is 16 because we have 16 samples. So we have now uh, 65. 0.46 divided by 16 is 4.0913. Then take the square root. So the square root of 4.0913. The answer is 2.0227. So this is now the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. So this is the mean of sampling distribution if with replacement and the standard deviation of sampling distribution if with replacement. Then if without replacement, so these are the samples. Since without replacement, so if we pick 2, so possible partner for 2, that's 2, 5, 2, 6, and 2, 10. Then if we pick 5, so possible partner for 5, it's 5, 6, and 5, 10. Then if we pick 6, so therefore, we can have 6, 10. So these are the samples if without replacement. Then to solve for the mean and standard deviation, so the same process in table form, we need to solve for the sample mean. So add these two numbers, divide by 2, that's 7, divide by 2, this one is 3.5. 2 plus 6, 8 divided by 2, that one is 4. This one is 12 divided by 2, that's 6. 5.5, uh, this one is 5 plus 10, that's 7.5. And 6 plus 10, this one is 8. Now, since the population mean, that's 5.75, 
So to solve now for the difference of sample mean and the population mean, so we have 3.5 minus 5.75 is negative 2.25. Then this uh, 4 minus 5.75 is negative 1.75. Then this 6 minus this 5.5 minus 5.75 is 0.25. Then this 5.5 minus 5.75 minus 5.75 is negative. 0.25 so this one 7.5 minus 5.75 so 7.5 minus 5.75 it's 1.75 then 8 minus 5.75 it's 2.25 then take the square of this column so the square of a negative so put inside the parentheses so we have negative 2.25 squared is 5.06 then negative 1.75 squared it's 3.06 then 0.25 squared that's 0 0.06 and this one is 0.25 squared it's also 0 0.06 uh, 1.75 squared, that's 3.06, and this 2.25, this one is 5.06. So to solve now for the mean of sampling distribution, so we need to add first this number for this summation of sample mean. So uh, 3.5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5.5 plus 7.5 then plus 8 this one is 34.5 so 34.5 divided by the sample size so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 since we have 6 samples so therefore divide by 6 so 34 now 0.5 divided by 6 so this is now the mean of sampling distribution if without replacement that's 5.75 then for standard division of a sampling distribution so we have this the summation of sample mean minus the population mean squared so we need to add these numbers first so that's uh, 5.06 plus 3.06 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.06 plus 3.06 in plus 5.06 so that's 16.36 so to solve now for the standard division so this one is 16.36 divided by n the sample size since we have six samples so divide by six so we have now 16.36 divided by six it's 2.72 Six seven. Then take the square root. So the square root of two point seven two six seven. So this is now the standard division of sampling distribution if without replacement one point six five one three.